everybody. Welcome back to the Angry Cast. Hey, here's a pro tip for you. We're going to show you how to run Sim Tower, man. That old 90s Maxis game. Oh, my goodness. Windows and DOS. And, ah. We're going to show you how to run that one. Windows 7, 8, or 10 using our good old friend DOSBox. How do we do that? Well, that's pretty simple. So let's go to DOSBox if you haven't already and go download from DOSBox.com. Get the latest version. I think it's .74. Uh, you can see the latest version in the corner of the screen of the menu. Just click on that and it will take you to the download page for that. And once you have downloaded and installed DOSBox into your computer, you need to go get a couple more files. One is an, uh, the ability to run Windows, Windows 3.1 in DOSBox. You can go that here through Abandonia or Abandonia or whatever you're going to call it and it will show you how to do that. I got the links in the, the description for you. And you want to download directly from that one link there that I've highlighted. All right, then after that, you need to go get the game, Sim Tower, uh, also, and uh, Aband Abandonia, or Abandonia, or whatever you want to call it. You can get it there. I got the links, again, in the description. Uh, but there you go, Sim, Ta Sour, uh, Sim Tower, the Vertical Empire, and we just scroll down, and you can d download the game itself. And once you get those games downloaded, and you need to open up those extra or these, uh, zipped files, and let's get some stuff going here. So what you want to do is take all the stuff out of the Windows 3 for DOSBox and slap it into the DOSBox folder. You can see I already have it in here. It's already in there. But just slap all that stuff in there. Just copy and paste over or, or slide them in to your DOSBox folder. That'll be just uh, just as just good as well. Next thing you're going to want to do is go to your DOSBox folder, which I have here, and you want to make a new folder for Sim Tower. So you want to go, you know, create new folder and put in Sim Tower, and then you're going to want to take and drag everything over from that Sim Tower zip file over into the newly created folder on your uh, DOSBox thing, and you have to do it as an uh, administrator. Woohoo! There we go. And then now we're ready to start, aren't we? We're ready to get going. We're ready to get this uh, game, in, game in the high gear and start playing. So let's open up DOSBox and install this puppy. So here we go. We got. We're in DOSBox now. You have to mount the drive. Son, you have to mount C at C colon slash program files. Now here's the problem we're gonna have here is that I have installed DOSBox into my program files x86 inside a parentheses folder. And that's where that lives. You may want to put it somewhere else. It's up to you. Older computers didn't have the ability to understand file paths with spaces in them. Even with underscores, you could make this work. So you have to actually find what they shortened the folder name to. Uh, in my case. So there are program uh, files and there's program files x86 in parentheses. Now program files is usually progra tilde 1 and program files x86 is progra tilde 2. So that's all you have to do there. And once you mount the drive to where DOSBox lives on your computer, mount the drive C now, that's our local directory. We go to C and check the directory. You see this windows.bat. We need to run windows.bat. That's our Windows program within DOSBox. It's going to load up a, oh my goodness, this is going to be wonderful to look at, Windows 3.1 uh, running in Windows 10. How about this? This is beautiful. So there you go. Go to the main folder, open it up, go to File Manager. This is how Windows worked back then. And you see we have SimTower there. Click on that thing and then just set, set up X, XEX or EXE. Whoop! What happened? Oh no! We got some problems! All right. What's happening here is that when you just run regular DOSBox, it doesn't allow for a lot of hard disk space inside this virtualization of, of a Windows or, or a DOS or Windows uh, system. So we have to run DOSBox as an administrator and that will help things tremendously. So go back in and run this puppy as administrator and that will make everything all the better. So once again go out there and, and mount we need to c create a C prompt or the C drive on the uh, on DOSBox, so C program, kill the two, DOSBox, zero, or type in 0 0.4, and then run C, or go, go to C, and then Windows.bat, and that will start all the process again. And then now we can actually install Sim Tower within our uh, folder and use it within uh, you know, DOS, DOSBox and Windows uh, 3.1. So there we go, Sim Tower, set up EXE, and it should work. And there it is, and then we continue. And then we can just, you know, put in something okay, uh, angry Mario and <laughs> the angry cast. And then this thing's going to uh, install and continue. And there we go. And it's alright. It's good. It's wonderful. It's beautiful. It's happening. It's all happening. 
and then it's going to uh, you know be done and completed, and then we have to just do startup sim tower uh, for Windows. There you are. So, uh, whoops. Oh. Uh, there we are. Now we go run it, and now, of course, because it's the first time we're running it, it's gonna do all this goofy stuff where it's gonna program is testing for optimal display performance so look that's best on your system. Oh my goodness, it's gonna happen. I'm, I'm gonna skip ahead. Just you know, get it done. And here we are. Here we are. It's a wonderful thing. It's Sim Tower. And that's all we gotta do. That is it. You have now installed and are running Sim Tower from DOSBox and Windows 3.1 directly into uh, Windows 7, 8, or 10, however you want to use it. And it's uh, it's a beautiful thing, and I might go play and have some fun and goof around with it, and we will just uh, let this uh, run out, and uh, there you go. So I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you learned something and it helps you out in your uh, daily travels. And if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. If you have anything you want to share or have some questions, please leave me a comment below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and help me out here. Help me out, folks. And you have a good night. And get out there and get building. Bye-bye.